everyone, welcome to Life Photographer on YouTube. If you've not seen the previous version of this video, we'll put a little link in the description below. Go on back and have a look at Stephen's version. But now it's my turn. We're going to take things to a fairy tale esque vibe. We're going to get some nice flowy materials, some fabrics. We've got some water to play with and maybe some shadows too, because you know I love those shadows. So let's see what we can create. I'm actually going to have a little play with some flowers and hold them myself up front. I'm just going to force that sense of depth. Because we're working with the lovely Natasha, I don't want to faff around too much with changing all of my settings. So I'm actually shooting an aperture priority because ultimately that's what we want to think about. So because it's quite an overcast day and there's lots of lovely trees for shade, I'm switching between around f5.6 all the way up to f11 depending on how close I am to Natasha. So for a close up shot, perhaps a head and shoulders of Natasha, I'm using a shallower depth of field of around 5.6. We're trying to use just one light with this shoot and the light that I'm using is the sun. Now on a day like today it's pretty overcast which is perfect because we've got a nice soft tone to all of our images then which goes with the floral theme of this fairy-esque shoot. So we're using a lot of nature with Natasha's face and she's got this lovely contrasting orange and red dress with a floral print on it as well. And if you just rotate that right shoulder back a tiny bit, perfect. So next up I'm going to take out my trusty prism, it's always in my camera bag and I love how it looks in images. It's going to add that kind of out of focus look in the foreground whilst pulling in some of the reflections of the trees. Sometimes you can get a really nice sort of rainbow effect as well in the refractions which is just perfect. Let's see how it goes.
So when I'm photographing shadows on the face, what I want to avoid is where the shadow is on her eye. Ideally, I want her eye to be illuminated by that light and the shadows are gonna frame it in a way. So thank you very much for watching our fairy tale inspired photo shoot. If you wanna see more videos like this, follow Eye Photography on YouTube. There's plenty of videos there for you. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, everywhere. <laughs> if you're not already a member of Eye Photography, then please use the links below. Check it out, there's so much more on offer than what we've got here. And we hope to see you soon.